to me We would always stay this free And I would never let you go Cause of you Don't wanna waste another minute without you I will love you in the dark And if you ever What's up, Van Clan, and welcome back to our channel. Today is going to be a very different kind of video and something that you guys have been asking me repetitively every time I go on my live. Tons of questions in my DMs, and I just figure I really owe it to you guys because a few months ago, Garrick and I made a video where we announced to you guys that we were trying for our third baby. And so I want to kind of give you guys an update on what's been going on. So most of you guys know that we have been trying to conceive our third baby. The reason that we don't update you guys a lot on this subject is because it kind of puts us in this place of like not disappointment necessarily but just like the concept always coming up like always bringing up the subject when it's just kind of difficult because ugh, let me just get into it. So I figured I would take you guys along on something that's pretty normal in our life now and that is taking a morning pregnancy test and a lot of you guys know that I am breastfeeding so that is a common factor of you know making it a little bit more difficult while trying to conceive let me give you guys a little bit of a backstory because this is also a really big factor so we tried to conceive Wilder for many 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 months and we kind of got a little bit scared um, and it came to the point where we're like, hey, like maybe this isn't God's intention for us to have a baby right now. And then we just like stopped worrying about it so much and stopped trying so hard. And then what do you know, that next month I was pregnant. And I had this thought wrapped up in my head that, oh, maybe I'm like somewhat infertile. Like, you know, this is the first time me trying to conceive. Like it happens so easily for all of these people. And for me, it's taking like almost a year. Like what's going on? But anyways, we conceived Wilder. And then for Hazel's story it was basically the same thing. We tried and tried and tried. And it was like, do I have some kind of infertility problem? Like what's going on? So it wasn't just like one month and like we had a baby that's not how it happened for us and i know that that's not how it happens for a lot of people out there and a lot of people do have infertility problems and it's just it's sad it sucks and i just i really hope that i'm not one of those people if this does continue then i do plan on going to see a doctor later on down the line but right when we planned on it with hazel it's like god knew exactly what he was doing we conceived hazel shortly after we worried so hard but anyways my point is is that we tried really hard for wilder and hazel and with this baby i just feel like it's kind of taking a little bit longer and that's okay so for those of you that are new here and just clicked on this video i do have a two-year-old boy named wilder and a nine-month-old baby girl named hazel and we are trying to conceive our third baby i am 21 years old and yeah, it's been a journey. Anyways, my point is there could be a lot of reasons why I'm not getting pregnant so quickly and it's not happening in the blink of an eye. God could have a completely different plan for our life and I 100% stand in my faith. But in the same token, there is this voice in my head that's like, why? You know, why is this not happening? Am I going to be able to conceive a third child? Like, how long is this going to take years? Like, you know, there's just a lot of questions. And like I said, I know that God's timing is way more important than what we plan for our life. And I believe in that 100%. I believe that everything happens for a reason and God's got us. There will be a perfect time. And I hope every time I take a pregnancy test that that is my perfect time. And time and time again, I get let down. I try my best not to get disappointed or discouraged or anything like that. But if you guys have been in the TTC journey, then you guys know after seeing that negative pregnancy test, it's like, wow, dang. I thought this month was the one. It's okay. And I just figured I'm going to be taking a pregnancy test today. So I just figured I'd take you guys along with us because there have been a lot of questions. And I just feel like... I want you guys to be a part of it as well and 
Garrick doesn't really know whenever I take these pregnancy tests because I don't want to let him down. I don't want to say, hey, like it was negative again today. Like this has just been time and time again where I just do it sometimes and that's just it. And I don't, I don't know if it's positive. Like I don't know if I tell him right away. I don't know. That's why it's so fun that I'm taking you guys along on this journey and I'm not alone, you know? So we're going to open her up. I have like a stash of these bad boys. All right, I'm going to go pee. Right over here. Okay, so I have my little dropper of pee right here. I know that's probably gross, but hey, you guys clicked on this video. And I'm just gonna put three little drops on this little thing. One, two, three. Okay, and then I'm just gonna cover it up so I can't see, because literally whenever I do this, you guys, <clears throat> I will sit there and stare at it and stare at it and stare at it and then whenever it's negative I'll like try to put a flashlight on it and see if like maybe there's a line like <sighs> It's been a mess, but I'm gonna leave it be and I'm gonna come back in like five minutes Actually, no, I'm just gonna stay here for five minutes and just Wait while I'm waiting. I guess I'll talk to you guys. <laughs> I have nothing else to do So I've gotten a lot of questions asking about the gender. So once we have another baby like that gives me like goosebumps like what if I'm having another baby now? I don't know. My mind plays tricks on me all the time I'm like, ooh, I'm craving this like am I pregnant or like I'm feeling weird like am I pregnant? <laughs> but yeah, so a lot of you guys have been asking like when you do have another baby Do you want it to be a boy or a girl? And I like ask myself the same question all the time I'm like, hmm, what what would I like? like honestly, what would I like more having another boy or having another girl? And I genuinely don't know Wilder is my wild child that is for sure he is very strong-willed and wild as ever and hazel is a completely different baby than wilder ever was so i have like two different kinds of babies like wilder is wild as ever very strong-willed very crazy very loving very cuddly very kind and then hazel is just like such a good baby and so different than wilder and it's just boy and girl. I don't know if it's because they're boy and girl or different or because Wilder had colicky issues and Hazel didn't. I really don't know. But I don't know. Like maybe another boy? I don't know. Maybe that's just because Wilder is just so... Boys are just such mama's boys. But at the same time, Wilder is like a dad's boy right now. So I don't really know. I can't really answer that. I don't know. Um, and a lot of you guys have asked if we are gonna have a surprise gender again and probably i mean that was the most magical time of my life whenever we had hazel and we didn't know if it was a boy or a girl if you guys are new here go watch my birth vlog it's right up here and it was just a magical experience we didn't know if it was a boy or a girl we went into it not really knowing names or anything and then garrick announced while i was having my c-section garrick was like it's a girl and like I it was just mind-blowing so we will probably do that again um, I don't really know though but obviously we'll take you guys along on everything and I'm just I'm so excited okay I think it's been enough time I'm like shaking nervous I do this every single time okay okay I'm just gonna go ahead and look Yep, it's another negative. I'm like trying to see, this is what I do every time. I like try to overanalyze it and that's just bad for my mental health. So it's a negative, but like I said, I have to remind myself that like God's timing is so much more important than my own and like what I want is just should be so subsided because God has a plan for our life and I just can't get so into this you know everything happens for a reason and that's just that on that 
if any of you guys are going through like any kind of infertility issues just remember that and know that you're like not alone at all i'm not saying that i am having infertility issues because like i mentioned i haven't really been to a doctor and everything happens for a reason like that's that's it that's bottom line but if you guys want to see more videos like this and you want to see like my journey let me know or if you don't want to see videos like this that are just disappointing and not disappointing they're not disappointing this is just this is just a part a part of it it's not disappointing anyways then just let me know if comments are still disabled hop on over to my instagram chat with me there and yeah if you guys like this video please give it a thumbs up subscribe to the channel if you have not already derek's downstairs with the kids but tickle that notification bell please so you guys don't miss any of our upcoming videos and we'll see you next one Just hold on